everyone and welcome to this game help guide which today will be about the neutral auction house and how you can make a good fortune of using it correctly. To make this easy accessible every day you have to make some preparations. I myself play the horde so I will need to set up two additional characters. It can be level one characters but you have to transfer one of them to booty bay and the other one to stormwind city. The next thing you need to have prepared is a secondary account. It can be um, your own account or you can have a friend to help you. It's just 30 seconds and you can pay him one gold or something to help you out. To avoid the 25% tax on gold transfers, you have to make sure you are transferring items in both directions. So you, what you want to do is find an item that is really wanted by the other faction and can sell for more on that side. What you can do is compare the two auction houses and find prices that are cheap on one side and expensive on the other side. But a really good place to start is the enchantment pit, because Horde makes one kind and Alliance make another kind. This means that the Horde pit will sell for way more gold on the Alliance side, because they cannot make them themselves. As you can see now, a Horde character, my friend, is putting up the auction for one gold, and my Alliance account is buying it for one gold. What you want to be careful with is avoiding other people around that could potentially steal your item from you if you're not fast enough. From this point on, it's pretty straightforward. My Buddha Bay character will send it to my Stormwind character, which will put it in the auction house for 3,500. This is a very big profit since the materials for this enchant pit is about 500 gold. As soon as you have sold your horde pet on the alliance side, you can instead buy the alliance version and send that back to the horde side and sell that for at least twice the amount of money again. As you can see here, it costs 1500 and it should be able to sell for at least 3000. The leftover cash um, you can use to buy other items that will sell for more on the other side. I found that elementium ore on my server costs half the price on the alliance side, so this I will transfer as well. To make even more money from this, you just have to check out the both of the auction houses, compare the prices, and find even more items that on your server um, could give profit from transferring. But that will round up this, and thank you for watching this video, and for more guides, check out the gamehelp.com or our YouTube channel. Thank you for now, and have a nice day. Bye bye!